Right, in one of my um, last videos, a few people noticed that I've changed the oil setup on my um, Myford ML7 on the main bearings and um, have asked me about this. So this video is about um, this setup and um, how to make a brass manifold um, to be able to install both the drip feed oiler and the chrome cup oiler. Before this setup I just had the um, drip feed oilers directly onto the uh, main bearing and um, I found that they're very unpredictable um, and I've heard many people say the same thing um, you can lose the oil in a short period of time or they can give the impression that they're not dripping at all um, so I thought the best way round this would be to have um, both the cup and the drip feed oiler and in that way um, you can give a shot of oil into the cup at the beginning of any work and then uh, you don't have to really worry about the performance of the drip feed oiler. It's a bit of a belt and braces type of job um, but uh, the strange thing is that since I have um, changed to this setup the uh, drip feed oiler has become much less unstable and um, I've only had to alter it once since using it like this um, so I'm very pleased the way things have turned out and um, now I'll show you how I made the brass manifold and how I managed to get everything pointing in the right direction Right, I made my um, manifold block um, out of a piece of half inch square brass and it's um, 57 millimetres long um, the underside port is in the centre um, and the top ports uh, are um, 8 millimetre in from the side to the centre and they're all 1 8 BSP thread next I drilled the block um, towards the underside um, so I put it off center in a four jaw chuck but you can obviously do that on a bench drill or whatever um, and I drilled down with um, a 5.2 millimeter drill which is the core diameter for a um, quarter UNC thread um, drilled right the way down through until I broke through into the last port and that has connected all three ports next I did the um, tapping uh, quarter UNC into the first port later this hole will be blanked off with a quarter UNC screw um, I found some of those uh, and got two and cut them down so that they were short um, found a fibre washer and when that's fitted um, into the block it's got to be just short of the first port next I made two brass adapters with a 1 8 BSP male thread on each end um, the thickness of the center piece is about four millimeter and I drilled through um, with a four millimeter drill before assembly make sure everything is deburred and thoroughly clean I use a, a 1 8 BSP Doughty seal on the adapter and that screws into the underside of the manifold block like that and because I haven't got flats to do it up nice and tight um, what I do is put the shoulder of the adapter in a three jaw chuck and just tighten it up quite tight by hand you can hold the manifold up to the light and look down the blanking hole 
um, to see that the thread um, of the adapter when it's screwed in is not blocking the hole through the port and you can do the same when you screw the um, drip feed oiler in. The drip feed oiler is also fitted with a 1 8 BSP Doughty seal and is screwed into the back of the block like that and tightened on using a spanner on there. Um, you can undo the nut on the top of the oiler and turn um, the top um, to get the opening uh, where you want it and also the device on the top there um, in relation to the block um, so it's in whatever position you want it on the lathe. Next I put a doughty seal on the cup oiler um, and a nice thick rubber o-ring that fits well on there um, or a rubber washer will do um, and then screw that onto the block like that and when you feel it squeeze onto the o-ring just turn it into its final position um, obviously that wouldn't be uh, good you wouldn't be able to do that on a, um, a system if the oil was under pressure um, but because this is only gravity fed um, that won't leak and that's the only way that you'll be able to obtain the correct position of the cup if you try just using the doughty seal um, nine times out of ten it'll end up in any other position but the one you want next I blank off the end there with the fiber washer and the quarter UNC screw and do that up nice and tight At this stage it's very important to give a final check um, to see that the oil's running through. So what I do is take out the needle valve of the oiler and um, squirt some oil into the oiler and just see that um, it's going to flow down through and there we go it's dripping nicely there and um, empty that one out and do, just do the same with the cup and then you'll be 100% sure that the oil is getting through all the ports and just before you fit the assembly to the lathe um, just check that the adapter on the underside is nice and tight like that when you fit it to the lathe just move the guard out of the way like that um, use a nice thick um, rubber seal um, I suppose you could even use a leather one if you wanted to um, screw that into the bearing housing like that and then when you feel it squeeze onto the seal um, just turn it a bit more until it comes to its final position like that and that's basically the same um, with the back one as well um, and then it's um, filled with oil and you're ready to go and that's the job done